Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our 21st annual day celebration. We are happy to announce the arrival of our chief guest, Most Reverend John Kalarakal, our Superior General. Our guest of honor, Reverend Reda Hirdayam, Provincial Superior, Province of Trichy, Reverend Reda Josh Padikala, Provincial Superior, Province of Bengaluru, Mrs. Jalen Brito, our retiring staff. Together with Reverend Stephen Xavier, our Principal and Correspondent, Reverend Sebastian, our Vice Principal, and Reverend Deepan, Principal of ITI. Let's give them all a standing ovation. Planning meticulously, orienting academically, following the path of righteousness and achieving their goals tactfully. Today we are here to bring the bright sunshine to shine upon you all. With shimmering dances, vibrant dramatics, sizzling songs and, and much, much more, more awaiting, awaiting just for you. Very good afternoon ladies, gentlemen, parents, well-wishers and my dear friends. I am proud and privileged to welcome each one of you to our 21st Annual Day Celebrations. We are immensely happy to have our Chief Guest, Most Reverend Brother John Kalarakal, Superior General, who has come all the way amidst his busy schedule to preside over today's program. Your presence elevates our joy, dear brother. We joyfully welcome all our guests of honor, Reverend Brother Iridayam, Provincial Superior, Province of Trichy, Reverend Brother George Padikara, Provincial Superior, Province of Bengaluru, and Mrs. Geraldine Brito, our retiring staff for dedicating 14 years of selfless service. We also welcome Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our energetic principal and correspondent, and Reverend Brother Sebastian, our vice principal and bursar, and Reverend Brother Deepen, principal of ITI. We are also delighted to welcome all other dignitaries, Heads of institutions, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Brothers of the neighboring community, Reverend Sisters, and all other well-wishers who are here this afternoon. We also extend a hearty welcome to our beloved parents in whose honor we celebrate this afternoon. This afternoon will set the tone and tempo, and when the curtains are raised, we assure you that this 21st Annual Day Celebrations, celebrations will be exciting, enjoyable, and memorable for everyone. Light flavor, sweet and pure, inspires greatness and brings happiness and joy. Let the light of the sacred lamp shine before others that they may see our good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. We now request our Chief Guest, Most Reverend Brother John Kalarikal, our Guest of Honor, Reverend Brother Irdayam, Reverend Brother George Padikara, Mrs. Geraldine Brito, Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our Principal and Correspondent, Reverend Brother Sebastian, our Vice Principal, Reverend Brother Deepin, Principal of ITI, to light this sacred lamp.
Thank you, dear brothers and Brito ma'am. Dance is the language of our soul, which moves our spirit and makes our life more meaningful. We now like to honor our distinguished guests and our dear parents with the welcome dance. I'm not a 
Children loved to be with her to grow up in a happy environment where learning was enjoyable and interesting. A good teacher can change everything. Ma'am, as a co-worker, was always a happy and cheerful person with a smile and would make all around her laugh with her tiny jokes. A very helpful person who would reach out to everyone at any time. A very cooperative person eager to take up responsibilities and carry out her duties systematically and meticulously, achieving the art of perfection. The Montford family is indeed very happy to recognize her journey as a teacher. God's blessings go far beyond anything we could dream. With God's abundant blessings and His grace bestowed upon her with health and happiness. At the end of this academic year, Ma'am will be retiring with a rich experience of 30 years from her teaching profession. But her deeds and the knowledge imparted and the joy shared will be implanted in many hearts. Teaching is a very noble profession that shapes the character, caliber and future of an individual. Teaching being her ambition, Ma'am started her teaching career at the Plus School St. Thomas Mount to gain her teaching experience. With a rich experience of teaching, she served at Mary High Secondary School St. Thomas Mount for 15 years. Ma'am's desire as a teacher to learn more and the zeal to comprehend a foreign language completed her French course at Alliance Francais, Nungambaka, and became a trained French teacher and English teacher. In the year 2009, Ma'am joined the Montfortian family, continued her profession and dedicated 14 years of selfless service. Ma'am is an ardent prayer warrior. With God as her guide, was always blessed and victorious as a multi-talented person at home and at school. Every person has hobbies to cherish. Ma'am loves to sing and teach children to sing. As an individual, loves to read to gain knowledge and also practices the beautiful art of stitching. Dear Ma'am, we will miss you, but we will cherish your memories and wish you all the very best in your happy retired life. to have eminent people in our midst as our guests. We now request all our guests to be seated on stage.
happens, the people fall. But in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs 11.14 We are very happy and take privilege in welcoming our chief guest, Superior General, Most Reverend Brother John Kalarakal, to our 21st Annual Day Celebration. A true devotee to the mission of the Gabrielite Brothers, who started his journey as a principal at Montfort High School, Kamam, in 1980. Over the years, through his unfailing dedication, served as principal in many other Montfortian schools in India, such as Hyderabad, Ghazipet, and Vijayawada. In the year 1995, he took on the role of Provincial Councillor and Convener, Education Commission, Province of Central India, and completed his duties for the title by the year 2001. He was the president of the Conference of Religious in Waragal and Vijayawada from 2003 to 2006. He was elected as the Assistant General in the year 2005. Owing to his infallible service, he was elected as the Superior General in 2012. Due to his exemplary contribution towards every role he had held, he was once again re-elected as Superior General in the year 2018, a position he still holds to date. He holds multiple accolades from the universities where he had studied, namely the Osmania University and Punjabi University. He has also received many awards such as Best Administrator Award, National Integration Award for the Best Principal, Best Principal Award and Best Teacher Award. Thank you for joining us here today, brother. We are immensely happy to have you with us today. As a token of our love and appreciation, we request Reverend Brother George Parikara a provincial superior, province of Bengaluru, to adorn him with a shawl and present brother with a memento and a flowering plant. So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them with his skillful hands. Psalms 78-72 On this auspicious day, we welcome Reverend Brother Dr. M. Irdayam, Provincial Superior of Trichy Province. Born in the Madhya District in 1965, Brother has instantly served for the mission of Monfort, holding a range of positions in various institutions from 1998 onwards. A few of the titles he held during his tenure include Correspondent, Headmaster in various Monfort schools all over Tamil Nadu like Santom Higher Secondary School, Chennai, Monfort School, Arialur, St. Joseph's, Chengalpat, to name a few. He has also served as a committee member of the Educational Commission at province level, member at the Minority State Commission, and he is also a national chairman of the Monfort Brothers of St. Gabriel. He has won the Tamil Nadu Best Teacher Award in 2018. He has authored two books, Life of Monfort and Education for the Socially Disadvantaged, and also has presented a plethora of paper at the international level. His main area of focus includes implementation of educational technologies in schools, curriculum construction, and curriculum designing. Brother has also rep represented the state team in football. He is also well versed in oration and drama. He is also a trainer in life skills and soft skills. He is also a motivational speaker and has been a key speaker in many events. Your presence today enhances the aura of our celebration. We feel more privileged having you as a guest of honor. Thank you, brother, for joining us today. We would like to appreciate your presence with a humble gesture of love. We request Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, Principal and Correspondent, to adorn him with a shawl and present him with a memento and a flowering plant.
Thank you, brothers. A good leader seeks the Lord, commits his way to the Lord, and the Lord establishes his steps. This afternoon, we are indeed very happy to welcome our provincial superior, Reverend Brother George Padikara, with us. We deem it a pleasure to welcome you at Montfort School, St. Thomas Mount, a home away from home for all of us. Reverend Brother George Padikara is a BE graduate in Electrical and Electronics from Anna University, passed out in 1995. And he is also a PhD scholar in Counseling Psychology. His journey as a Montfort brother of St. Gabriel started in the year 1976 with a humble beginning as a teacher at St. John's Industrial Training Institute, Manapare, and thereafter, in 1980, he took up his first overseas mission in Suba, Fiji, as a teacher at Montfort Boys Town. And in 1987, he became the principal of the institution. Brother was also the project leader at Montfort Technical Institute, Tonga, in 1989. In 1991, Brother returned back to India as the training officer for three years at Montfort Technical Institute, St. Thomas Mount, and then the principal for around seven years until 1999. Brother has also headed various Montfort Technical Institution and colleges in several portfolios. In the year 2007 to 2010, he was the provincial superior of the province of Erkar and the chairman of the Montfort College Society. Brother is the second provincial superior of the province of Bengaluru and he took charge of office from April 2022. Brother is an expert in counseling psychology and has been a resource person in several conferences and he has also attended various workshops, both in India and abroad. He is a member of the Board of Studies and Examination at Martin Luther Christian University and Bangalore North University, respectively. In spite of his vast experience and profound knowledge, Brother Padikara was always found to be a man who maintained a low profile at any given point of his career and mission. A simple down-to-earth person, very approachable and a spiritual guide to many students and staff who worked under him. Dear brother, we are blessed to have you to inspire us and lead us by example. On this happy occasion, we wish to express our gratitude and as a guest of our love and appreciation, I request Reverend Brother Sebastian, our Vice Principal and Bursar, to atone Reverend Brother Padikara with a shawl and present him with a memento and a flowering plant. Brother, I now request our chief guest, Most Reverend Brother John Kalarakal, to felicitate Mrs. Geraldine Brito, our retiring staff. ceremony for the school toppers, general proficiency awardees and other special awards. We are indeed very happy to acknowledge our students from standard 6 to 12 and the NIOS who have shown consistent interest in academics and have strived to be proficiently blessed in their class. We humbly request Reverend Brother George Padikala, Provincial Superior, Province of Bengaluru, to give away the prizes. The following are the winners of the General Proficiency Awards for 2022 to 2023.
Surya Thomas B of 6A Joanna Rajakumari J of 6B Netra R of 6C Jesse Baraka J and J Arun J of 6D Gabri Merdal J and Gautam T of 7A Manishwaran PS of 7B Divya Darshini S of 7C Gilmore Lambert R of 7D Jerusha David of 8A Irfana Banu S of 8D Ritika K from HC Amanda J of 8D Rohan Reddy K R of 9A Jeshwin Paul R of 9B Johan Ryan R of 9C Tarun S of 9D Roshan Emmanuel R of 10A Bharat R of 10B Jevin Josh J of 10C Shushma Shiny A of 10D Mahadev R of 11A Pradeep S of 11B Renal Inok Raj of 11C Vishali B of 11 DCA Hazana Sashia DM of 11 DBM Kavya Darshini J of 11 E
Natasha David of 12A Michelle Nevi of 12B Merlin Carol P of 12C Salfin Jesri Louie of 12DCA Madunita B of 12DBM Lyle M of Free and iOS Mukesh R of NIOS Tint Sanjay Krishna M of NIOS Red
Anthony Pillay Ace has secured ten term in economics and the subject TOEFL in accountancy. Thank you, brothers. Our students have also shown their tremendous achievement in the field of sports. The following students are the ones who are the winners of various competitions held at the division level and have been the state qualifiers. We now request Reverend Brother Iridaya, Provincial Superior, Province of Trichy, to give away the prizes. Love and Yadi of Chai 12 EBM in short put and also in bad and singles. In 4 into 4 and meter serie, Nanda Malini of Stand 11 E, Joel Samuel M of Stand 11 E, Jevin A of Stand 11 D DM, Cole Watson Lock Bright P of Stand 12 B. Yakira Kapat of Standard 70 is the winner in the divisional level of swimming and state qualifier. Karthik Manigandan of Standard 12 of NIOS is appreciated for his achievement in the field of cricket. He is a state player of Tamil Nadu in the under 19 category. He is a warden as a pack player and he takes three games for 400 runs.
and show your appreciation. Sayaliya Shilpi Nahal Sanitary Emma's at the moment on the national level training competitions conducted by the Petroleum Preservation Resource Association. In the Intro School Robotics Competition, Alan Felix A of 770 has won the first prize. The second prize goes to Franklin Jenkins, Karun Kalanadi, Jaden Murgis and Shraddha MJ of 770. Brothers, I now request our chief guest, most revered brother John Kalarakul, to give away the prizes. David Baker of Class 10B has penned the novel Divided, and the book was released on 10th December 2022 by Mohammed Asif Ali, the Nawab Zada of Arkham. He was nominated for the Golden Book Awards along with many eminent writers such as J.K. Rowling and Ruskin Bourne. We are proud to announce that he has won the award in the category Young Adult Fantasy. Please give him a big round of applause. The student who has excelled in academics, one who has consistently shown great interest participating in various competitions conducted in school and away from school, has shown integrity and self-discipline from kindergarten to higher secondary, will be conferred with the best outgoing student of the year. The most coveted award of the year, the overall championship award, for the academic year 2022 to 2023 is backed by the red team, the Gabriel House. I call upon the team leaders and the team mistresses to come and receive the award. to acknowledge our teachers who will strive hard to give 10% results in their subjects in the board examinations of 2019-20 and 2022-21. Teachers who have given 10% results in the SSLC board examinations 2021-22. Reverend Brother Jay Balan G in English, Mrs. Nalini Jay Kumari M. Mrs. Nalini J. Kumari M. in English. Mrs. Merlin Sahana B. in English. in Tamil. Mrs. Nancy Octavia Mary A. in Science.
Mrs. Monica Rizalza in French in years 2019-20 and 2021-22. Miss 
सोनिया शालनी आरोग्य राज Most Reverend Brother John Kalarakal, the Superior General and the Chief Guest of the 21st Annual Day, Guests of Honor, Reverend Brother Yirudayam, the Provincial Superior of uh, Trichy Province, Reverend Brother George Padigara, the Provincial Superior of Pakistan. Reverend Brother George Padigara, the Provincial Superior of Bangalore, Reverend Brother Sebastian, the Vice Principal, Reverend Brother Deepan, the Principal of Montfort Technical Institute, Heads of the Institutions, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Brothers, Reverend Sisters, Dignitaries, Dear Parents, Staff and Students, a very good afternoon to each one of you. I am immensely joyous and the privilege to have the opportunity to welcome everyone present here today on the auspicious occasion of 21st Annual Day celebration. I extend my sincere thanks to our Superior General, Reverend Brother John Kalarikal, guests of honor, Reverend Brother Yirudayam, Reverend Brother George Padigara, for their eminent presence in spite of their busy schedule on this day. Proverb 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. For even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Education at Montfort is not a mere process. Rather, it is a commitment to every child belonging to this campus. We believe that excellence is not just being the best. Rather, it is working towards doing the best. And we have always taken the effort to maintain the quality, unity, integrity and moral of the alma mater. Identifying the inherent talents of the students is our major objective. And through the year, children are given various opportunities to develop themselves and it is now time for us to appreciate and recognize them. The students and staff have prepared themselves for this day and ready with the colorful variety cultural extravaganza in the form of dance, singing, oration, etc. Montfort St. Thomas Mount always takes pride in involving maximum number of students in all the events in order to give equal prospect to everyone. In today's program, close to 900 students are performing and 117 students are winning awards, which is around 80% of the total strength of the high school and high secondary. I take this opportunity to extend my gratefulness to all the parents who are the strong support in all our accomplishments. 
for your mutual support and the cooperation throughout the year and for the success of today's event. My thanks and appreciation to all the students and staff for the meticulous planning and the preparation and my heartfelt congratulations to all the award winners. May God's divine presence lead us through the program. Wish you all an enjoyable experience. Thank you one and all. Thank you, brother, for your motivational speech. We now request all our guests to take their place in front of the stage as we continue with our program. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military commander, a great warrior, and a political leader. After Napoleon was defeated in the Battle of Waterloo, instead of remaining in the field with a shattered army, Napoleon returned to Paris in the hope of retaining political support for his position as Emperor of the French. He hoped with his political base secured to then be able to continue the war. It was not to be. Instead, the members of the two chambers created a provincial government and demanded that Napoleon abdicate. Although angry about the decision made, on an emotional note, Napoleon addressed his loyal army to bid goodbye and called to patriotism and loyalty towards France from them. An oration in French by Nishita of Standard 12. Commander. Eh, 
le deserte par notre pays. Bien aimé. That was indeed a vibrant performance. People think reaching the top is the end of a beautiful journey. But we Montfortians believe reaching great heights is the beginning of the journey. Every year we achieve great heights by facing new challenges, implementing new ventures and facilitating each other to explore our hidden talents. Respecting our values and traveling together. We now present the annual report for the academic year 2022-2023. with a lot of mixed emotions as we had a change in our management. On 10th and 13th of June, both the staff, students and parents welcomed Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our incoming principal and correspondent, and a bit of farewell to our outgoing principal and correspondent, Reverend Brother K.K. Thomas. An orientation program was organized for all the staff on the team Montfortian Education for Life with our own renowned resource person, Reverend Brother Dr. Paul Raj, Principal, Vidyadi College, Bangalore. 
Group activities made it more lively. Teachers were asked to value this noble profession as a service. The Diamond Jubilee Arc was blessed by Father Shylock Stephen, parish priest of St. Patrick's Church. The ribbon was cut and inaugurated by Reverend Brother George Parikara along with other dignitaries. Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, principal and correspondent. Reverend Brother Sebastian, vice principal and bursar. Reverend Brother Deepin, principal of Montford IPI and other brothers of the community were much appreciated for this magnificence and significance at the school entrance. The Montfortians at St. Thomas Mount celebrated the inauguration of the Diamond Jubilee Arch and the 20th Kids Sports Day on 21st October. The chief guest for the day was Reverend Brother George Padikara, Provincial Superior of Bengaluru. The guest of honor, Mr. C. Dinesh Kumar Reddy, Chief Executive Officer, Cantonment Board, St. Thomas Mount, Palavar. PDA meetings were organized for all level and our principal, Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, introduced himself to the parents and gave a patient hearing to all their queries and assured his willingness to consider changes. Celebrating events and festivals in school has become an integral part of growing, learning new activities and building a strong cultural belief. The first solemn function for this academic year was our investiture ceremony when the school leaders pledged to do their duties to the best of their abilities. Our leaders were invested by Mr. Amir Ahmed, Assistant Commissioner of Police, St. Thomas Monk, in the presence of their parents. To commemorate the 120th birth and study of Perintalevar Kamaraj, the students of Standard 5B organized a special assembly, bringing out the significance played by Thiru Kamaraj in providing free and compulsory education to all. It was our honor and privilege to have our provincial superior, Reverend Brother George Parikara, at our school on his first official visit. A special assembly was organized with the cultural extravaganza and our provincial superior, Reverend Brother George Parikara, graced the occasion along with our former principals, Reverend Brother George and Reverend Brother K.K. Thomas. Our 20th annual sports day was held on 13th August 2022. Our chief guest was Thiru T.M. Anbarasen, MLA and Minister of MSME and Tamil Nadu Urban Habitation Development Board. Our special guest was Thiru Anadurai, IAS, Director of Agriculture, Che Park Chennai. Yet another outstanding event for our day, our humanoid robot designed by our students. This was accompanied by Walk Past along with our mascot for the year, the dolphin, the endangered man's friend. The 11th Unified Sports Meet was held at Montford School. It was a time where the differently able children's talent was recognized and appreciated. Our school children and caretakers assisted them. The chief guest of the day was Mr. Sudin, IAS, State Project Director, Department of School Education, Government of Tamil Nadu. To mark the 75th year of independence and celebrate our freedom, the students of Standard 5C and 5D organized the Grand Morning Assembly. Teachers' Day celebration was presented by the students of Class 9. They highlighted the importance of teachers in their life. An entertainment program was organized and as a gesture of appreciation and gratitude, teachers were presented a gift after the function. Diwali was celebrated with festivity and Standard 4B and 4C animated a vibrant assembly to bring out the significance of the festival. To convey our warm birthday wishes, 
to Reverend Brother Sebastian, our beloved Vice Principal. We celebrated his birthday on 22nd October to appreciate his goodness and for God's blessing to continue his mission in our school. A prayer service was conducted by the teachers that evening. The most precious thing in this world is the smile on the face of the child. Montfort celebrated Children's Day. Students were decked in colored attire and the teachers presented a cultural extravaganza which was enjoyed by the children as it entertained them with their pranks at school. Christmas celebration was organized by the students of Child 6. The chief guest for the day was Reverend Father Michael, Rector and Director of Free Shrine, St. Thomas Mount. His Christmas message was love, care and share the season. A YouTube video, Season of Love, a Christmas song sung by our Montfort Melody Makers with the Christmas message was released by our principal on 22nd December 2022. The Department of Tamil organized an exuberant formal celebration with all its pomp and tradition. The students of Standard 3 to 9 were participated and put up a grand show. The Republic Day was organized by Class 7. The national flag was hoisted by Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our principal. The importance of a constitution was highlighted along with the duties and responsibilities of a true Indian citizen. The determination to win is the better part of winning, singing, crying, elocution and essay writing competition was conducted at various levels and children showed full enthusiasm and won many prizes. Students are encouraged to participate in inter-school drawing competition in all levels and have won many prizes. Some of our students participated in the Rough Notebook competition from primary to higher secondary level. Joshua Johnson of 5A, Nirika of 5D, and Anna of 10C were selected and their articles were published in the Rough Notebook magazine. To motivate our students to take up a career in the future and to develop discipline, character, leadership, and ideals of selfless service. The NCC is in full swing in our school from the year 2015. We started in 2015 with 50 cadets and regular bomb sessions and parade. The first set of cadets were taken for a camp at Satyabama Engineering College. The second camp was conducted from 26th of December 2022 to 2nd January 2023 at Veltec University with our CEO V. Ganesh Narayanan and ANO Mr. Mesmer. The number of cadets who attended the camp were 27 with 9 girls and 18 boys. RSP Road Safety Patrol is very active in our school. On all Saturdays, they have their parade. Every morning, they roll out to ease the traffic congestions by our school surroundings. There was an interactive session with the students of Montfort School, Thailand with our grade 6 students. Reverend Brother Dr. Paul Raj led the team at Thailand. Our students had a casual conversation on their favorite food, custom, tradition, etc. Such exchange programs are a boon to the student community as it gives a global learning perspective in our education process. The Catholic students attend Mass every first Friday of the month to inculcate moral values and encourage them to seek divine intervention. Our tiny tots of the kindergarten were taken on a trip to Queensland. They enjoyed themselves and had a were taken for their one day trip to M. Jim Dizzy World. It was an exciting and fun filled day. Students of Standard 9 to 12 were taken for the educational camp relaxation trip to Mysore, Bengaluru, Kurt, and Hyderabad in three batches. 
It was indeed a memorable trip with teachers and friends. Our students participated in a robotics competition conducted by HIET and won the first place with a cash prize of rupees 30,000 in the first category and a cash prize of rupees 5,000 in the second category. Raja Lakshmi Institute of Technology conducted a robotics competition and our robotics team won the first place of rupees 3000. SRM College also conducted a robotics competition and our students procured a number of medals and certificates. A group of 30 students from class 12 participated in the drone festival at SRM College. At Montfort, we motivate our students to continue reaching great heights as success is not final. It is the courage to continue that counts. Our students have excelled in all fields. Amalish Tidi, Abhinish Tidi, Nayadi and Sayali have received many awards and reached national level. Sayali Ashil Queen won the first prize in the painting competition organized by Petroleum Conservation Research Association. D.T. Amalish won the overall grand prize of Rs. 3,43,000. Samsung Flipboard at Baba Jividya Sharam, Sholing and Nalu and many other awards. Power Grids of India conducted a painting competition. D.T. Abhinish backed the first place in the state level and was awarded a cash prize of 50,000. They both have added many more laurels to their credit. In the Zone 11 Athletic Meet, both girls and boys participated and won more than 70 medals comprising of gold, silver and bronze and won the overall championship awards. The winners of gold and silver medals qualified to the district level competitions. Our students have received a lot of laurels in the field of sports. In athletics, swimming, taekwondo, chess, tennis, badminton, in all levels and we are proud of them. Lavinia of 12D, Business Maths, Andrea Mercy of 8C, Renita Grace Robert of 6D won the badminton singles and doubles. G. Lavinia, A. Nandabalin, Johan Samuels, J. Jeffin, Paul Lordson Bright, D. Sukesh, J. Gokul Kumar participated and emerged in the track and field events in the district level and is qualified to the state level. Yakira Kapad of Standard 7D won the 50 meters freestyle in the district level swimming competition and has been qualified for the state level. Durai Dayanidhi of 10B and Mimi Srivastava of 10C won the district level take one no matches. Kartik Manigandan VS and Vayunand L are star cricket players of our NIOS senior secondary. They have been awarded the most valuable asset in cricket and the highest wicket taker respectively. A proud moment for the Montfort family is our budding writer and author David Becker of Standard 10B. His book, Divided, was launched on 10 December at Amir Mahal and was hosted by the Nawab of Arkar. Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our principal, and Reverend Brother Sebastian, our vice principal, witnessed the function. Wings Publication International awarded him with the Golden Book Award in the category Young Adult Fantasy. On 31st January, David has given his opinion on the forthcoming budget along with the other dignities. He has suggested the government to adopt easy access policies towards the developed nation. With the motivation of Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our principal and correspondent. Reverend Brother Sebastian, our Vice Principal and Bassa, our teacher's support and with the guidance of the Almighty, we will move forward with empowerment and teamwork to reach greater heights. Long live Montford. Thank you.
thank you dear friends for highlighting the achievements of our school. We are proud that Montfortians provide holistic education to our students. Today, our students are performing a dance form, highlighting the concept of Western dance coming right up just for you.
Thank you friends, that was an energetic performance. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj is a Maratha king renowned for his valor and courage. At the time of preparation for the proposed coronation of his kingdomship, there erupted a controversy and abducted him from becoming a king. The emotions which sprung out of his mind is rendered as a Tamil oration by Sri Danish of Standard 8.
அவருக்கு தடை வந்துள்ளது ஏ போகணும் தயாராகவில்லையா இல்லை இல்லை பிறகு பாரோ தங்களுக்கு தகுதி இல்லையா அரசியலை அறிய மாட்டீர்களா Distinguished um, guests of honor, Reverend Brothers um, George and uh, Irdeyam, respected principal, Reverend Brother uh, Stephen Xavier, vice principal, Reverend Brother Sebastian, 
principal of uh, the technical institution, Reverend Brother Deepan, dear Reverend fathers, brothers and sisters, esteemed parents, friends and well-wishers of uh, Montfort Matriculation, dear friends from the media, dear members of the teaching fraternity and my dear uh, Young Montfortians, uh, a very good afternoon to you all. Uh, frankly speaking, I have been so impressed with whatever I witnessed up to now. The anchors coming forward with commendable confidence, coupled with impeccable English and uh, flawless diction, the young boys and girls performing their dances with uh, utmost grace and rhythm, the reporters giving us uh, an impressive narration of uh, the events that took place in the, during the academic year that I'm not sure what to add by way of a message and where to begin. Well, my sincere congratulations to all the students for their um, exceptionally excellent performance. In the same breath, I must also congratulate the principal, the members of the staff, for their meticulous planning and excellent execution of the whole program. Well, um, needless for me to say, it's certainly a joy for me to join you all for this uh, colorful and um, fantastic uh, 21st annual day celebrations for more reasons than one. In the first place, I had the privilege of being associated with Montfort in education for half a century. Therefore, uh, it's always a joy for me to visit, revisit educational institutions in the different parts of the world and meet with the staff, the students and their parents. Secondly, I have been um, following up the success story of Montfort uh, Matriculation Higher Secondary School with a sense of joy and pride right from its uh, infancy. Every time I visited Montfort, I was uh, immensely impressed by the continuous commitment of the Montfort Brothers of St. Gabriel with the able and valued collaboration of our uh, collaborators, the teaching and non-teaching staff, to offer quality education. I've been impressed by the efforts of the brothers and their uh, collaborators to bring about the needed changes in the curriculum to meet the changing needs of the society. Therefore, um, before I think of a message for the parents, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the community of brothers and their valued collaborators for their significant contribution in offering quality education to the students. You will agree with me what we witnessed here during the past one plus hours is a reaffirmation of the Montfortian value system we, the Montfort Brothers of St. Gabriel, and all our valued religious and lay collaborators, we believe in the inherent goodness of children. We believe that if the children and the youth of today are given ample opportunities, if they are given the needed encouragement and support, they can grow up into self-confident, self-reliant, full-functioning, well-disciplined, citizens of the country and I was pleasantly surprised to learn from the principal's report, uh, welcome address 
that there are as many as 900 students taking part in the this uh, annual day celebrations. I'm also impressed to see the um, presence of um, the parents in such goodly number. As an educationist, I certainly feel confident to say that your presence here is not only to watch your uh, children perform on the stage or to bask in the glory of uh, your children receiving prizes. This is the result of a chemical bond that exists, that should exist between the school and the parents. All education is attested to the fact that quality education in the present day society is a monumental task which can be accomplished only with the involvement and participation of both the parents and the school. Since uh, I have been acquainted with Montford School from its infancy, I certainly feel confident to say that if uh, Montford has become a household name in Chennai, if Montford Higher Secondary School has carved a niche, niche for itself, if Montford occupies a place of pride on the educational map of uh, India, it is a tribute to years of dedication by the brothers and their collaborators. It's a tribute to the participatory role that the parents have been playing in the educational endeavors of their children. It's a tribute to the encouragement and support that the school receives from the church and civil authorities. And as the leader of the International Montfortin family today, I wish to place on record my sincere congratulations to each one of them. I salute the founding principal and his team of pioneers who laid a strong foundation. I offer my sincere congratulations to all the successive principals who have steered the ship of this institution with uh, indefatigable courage and unwavering trust in the providence. I wish to place on record my sincere appreciation to all the parents for their collaboration with the school in the education mission of the Montfort Brothers of St. Gabriel here. I also take this opportunity to congratulate all the prize winners for their outstanding performance. I'm sure you must be constantly listening to your parents and teachers reminding you that there exists tough competition in the world. With my long experience in education, I say that competition is tough, competition has been tough, and it will continue to be so. But it is always said the road of success is always open to the bold, dynamic, courageous and keen youth. So my dear children, face every situation with courage and confidence. Courage conquers, boldness pays, but timidity fails. I wish uh, Montfort High Secondary School greater success in the years to come. My sincere uh, good prayer for good wishes to all the students of class 10 and 12 in their public examination. My renewed thanks to the principal, the community of brothers, for their kind invitation to me to be a part of this memorable afternoon, the 21st annual day celebrations, when we also celebrate Montfort High Secondary School becoming an adult. Thank you and God bless.
thank you brother for appreciating our performance and i like ning mon for kian values and appreciating our parents present life is like music with high and low notes each memory has a soundtrack of its own and there is a song for every emotion our mon for melody makers are there to our mon for melody maker today will entertain you with a melodious medley in different languages of french hindi tamil and english
friends for entertaining us with a melodious medley. Mother's love is the magic that enables a normal human being to do the impossible. Our mother makes the world beautiful around her just with a smile. We talk about the sacrifices a mother does for her family, but many a times we forget to recognize her unconditional love and appreciate her. Watch and enjoy this kid, Mother's Day. Begin with them. 
But what am I going to do? Go into my house for a bit and see how we are doing. Better get off now before one of them comes. Mom, you'll have to iron my yellow silk. I must wear it tonight. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Why washing the ceiling? But you're idle. That's right, dear. No law against it, is there? But I thought you will do it immediately. Then you thought wrong. Are we having tea in the kitchen? Have it where you like, dear. Do you mean it isn't ready? Yours isn't. I've had all I want. What's the matter with you? Don't be silly. It's not me that being silly. I'm going to wear the yellow silk tonight, so I want it iron. What do you think it's going to do? Iron itself? No, you're going to iron it for me. You always do. Well, this time I don't. Hello, mom. Be ready. I'm hungry. Need some snacks too. No. Why not? I couldn't bother. Feeling sick or something? Never felt better in my life. What's the idea then? Just a change. Mom, haven't too much time? I have plenty of time. Now look, Mom. This morning you promised you'd have to look through them in case there was any mending. Yes. Now I've decided. I don't like mending. That's a nice way to talk. What would happen if we all talk like that? You all talk like that. I don't understand, Mom. What's going on? Changes. You look terrible. I wouldn't wear the face. Has she been like that with you too? Yes. Naughty, ready? Well, I'm glad it's both of us. I thought I have done something wrong. So did I. Do you think she could have hit her head or something? Now then, what is it? If she's going to be like this when Dad comes home, I'm staying in for that. You two are always talking about being grown up. Why don't you both try once to be at your age? Look, Mom. If you won't get the tea ready, then I'll find something to eat myself. Why not? Help yourself. I've been working all day. Same here. Eight hours a day? Yes, eight hours. I've done my eight hours. That's different. Of course it is. It was. Now it isn't. Just watch the weekend when I have my two days off. Must grab something to eat. Mommy, do you mean you're not going to do anything on Saturday and Sunday? No, I wouldn't go that far. I might make the bed and do a little bit of cooking as a favor. I don't need my weekend. Might go for the weekend, perhaps. Go all for the weekend? Why not? I need a change. Stuck here day after day, week after week. But where would you go? You don't ask me where you should go. Did you fall or hit yourself with something? No, but I'll hit you with something, girl, if you don't stop asking silly questions. Hello, what's this? Can't be anything to cry about. <laughs> you will see. Did she say you will see? Yes. What did she mean? Better ask her. And George, what about you? People in the association laugh at you, calling you pompy pompy. Yes, sir. You have been with me to the association meeting once or twice. They don't laugh at me and call me Pompey or Pepeason. Do they? Come and tell me. Do they? Well, yes, Dad, I'm afraid they do. Now, you shouldn't have told him that, Mom. That's not fair. You have hurt his feelings. Mine too. Sometimes, it does people good to have their feelings hurt. What do you know? Nothing. You spend too much time and good money at online games and gadgets. Well, what if I do? I've got to enjoy myself somehow, haven't I? I wouldn't mind so much. 
if you are really enjoying yourself unwell. And where is it getting you? Might be for me. I'll see. It's a silly boy back from the next room. Mrs. Fitzgerald, you don't want to hear, do you? Certainly, I do. Ask her in. And don't call her silly old bag either. She's a very nice woman. Come in, come in, Mrs. Fitzgerald. I just wondered if everything is all right. No, it isn't. Of course, it is. You be quiet. You silly spoiled young pigeon. Oh no, surely. Now, Mrs. Fitzgerald, just let me manage my family in my own way, please. Yes, but Cyril. Oh dear, what's happening? Nothing much. Just putting them in their places. That's all. Is George home? Yes. I've been telling him what they think of him outside. Just looked in for a minute. I suppose, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Well, yes. I suppose so, George. George? Oh, I'm sorry. What does it matter? Your name's George, isn't it? Oh dear, I ought to have known. You ought to have known. Nothing to do with you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Why don't you get off to your association? Special night tonight, isn't it? They'll be waiting for you, wanting to have a good laugh. Go on then, don't disappoint him. That's right, make me silly in front of her now. If you shout at me again like that, George Pearson, I'll slap your big fat silly face. No, 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 please, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Hello, Doris, dear. Hello, Mrs. Fitzgerald. I thought you were going out with Charlie Spence tonight. What's that to do with you? Stop that. Oh no, it's alright. It isn't alright. I won't have a daughter of mine talking to anybody like that. Don't look at me. I give it up. I just give up. Well, answer her. I have called off going out with Charlie Spence tonight. Oh, what a pity. Dear, why have you? Because, if you must know, my mother's been going on at me, making me feel miserable. Mrs. Fitzgerald, I'll manage my family. You manage yours. Thinking it up now, are you, Annie? They're waiting for you at the association. George, don't forget. And don't you start crying again, Doris. That's enough. Quite enough. You too? I want to have a private little talk with Mrs. Fitz. Oh, with Mrs. Pearson. I'll be obliged if you leave us alone for a few minutes. I'll let you know when we've finished. I'm glad somebody can. Cause I can't. Come on, Doris. Mrs. Fitzgerald, we must change back now. We really must. Why? They are all miserable and I can't bear it. A bit more of the same would do him good, making a great difference already. I can't stand any more of it. I really can't. Please hurry up, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Well, if you insist. Yes, I do. Please, please. Quiet now. Relax. Asha tata dum. Asha tata lum. Asha tata lum dum bona. How oh, well I enjoyed that. I didn't. Mrs. Pearson, don't go soft on him again, else it'll have been wasted. I'll try not to, Mrs. Fitzgerald. I'm sure they'll do better now, though I don't know how I'm going to explain. Don't start any explaining or apologizing or you're done for. It's all right for you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. After all, they aren't your husband and children. Doris, darling. Cyril, where's your dad? Yes, mother. Seeing that you don't want to go out, 
I'll tell you what I thought we'd do. Remember, no objections, I hope. No, dear, whatever you say. I thought we'd have a nice family game and then you children could get the supper ready while I have a talk with your father. Suits me. What would you do? Yes, that's all right. Well, I. Goodbye, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Come again soon. Yes, dear. Night all. Have a nice time. We all should respect, care and help our mother for all the hardship she does for us. Even though the mother is often a housewife, she should not be ignored. Her efforts must be recognized and she must be appreciated for the hard work that she does to keep the house in order. Thus, make her feel Mother's Day every day. Thank you. Thank you friends for expressing the value of mother's love. Dr. Faustus is an Elizabethan tragedy written by Christopher Marlowe in the tragical history of the life and death of Dr. Faustus. Listen to the monologue where Faustus gives his soul to devil in exchange for 24 years of immense power. But later the desire to repent begins to plague Dr. Faustus as the fear of hell grows in him. The oration by Johann Ryan of Standard 9 is the last heart-rendering cry of Dr. Faustus on the night of his death. Dr. Faustus is an Elizabethan tragedy by Christopher Marlowe. Dr. Faustus is a brilliant 16th century scholar from Germany whose ambition for knowledge, wealth and worldly might makes him willing to pay an ultimate price, his soul, to Lucifer in exchange to supernatural power. His disobedience towards God deems him to spend infinity in hell. On the final night of his life, Faustus is overcome by fear and remorse. He begs for mercy, but it is too late, as the door of forgiveness was closed for him. Oh, 
soul I leap up to my God who pulls me down. See, see where Christ's blood streams in the firmament. One drop would save my soul. Half a drop? Ah, my Christ! Ah, rend not my heart for the naming of my Christ. Yet will I call on him. Oh, spare me, Lucifer. Spare me. Where is it now? It is gone? It is gone? Mountains and hills, come. Come and fall on me and hide me from the heavy wrath of God. Oh no! Half the hour is past. Lord be past unknown. Oh God! Impose a man to my incessant pain. Then forces live in hell a thousand years. No, a hundred thousand years and at last be saved. Curse be the parents that engendered me. No forces. No. Curse thyself. Curse Lucifer that hath deprived thee of the joys of heaven. Oh, it strikes. It strikes. Now, body, turn to it, or Lucifer will bear thee quick to hell. O oh soul, be changed into little water drops and fall into the ocean. Never be found. My God, my God, look not so fierce on me. Yes, and servants, let me breathe a while. Ugly hell, keep not, come not, Lucifer, I'll burn my books. Oh, have mercy on me. Dr. Foster's is a lesson of morality, the never-ending conflict between good and evil. Man must realize that when divinity is abandoned, destruction is sure. Be aware, O oh men, be big or little, be humble and rely on God, and never let the devil empower you. and Ryan for your dramatic performance. We now request our guest of honor, Reverend Brother Ildeyam, Provincial Superior, Province of Tirchi, to share this message with us. Most res respectable chief guest of the day, Reverend Brother John Kalaragil, Principal, Vice Principal, Principal of the ITI, Community Brothers, Sisters, Reverend Fathers, Esteemed Parents, and my young friends, Monfortins, a pleasant evening to all. 
I'm so happy and delighted to see so many parents are still awaiting to listen to me. Usually the chief guest and the president will speak at the end towards the chair. Most of them must have disappeared. This is a rare phenomena to see all of you. Congratulations parents for staying till the last, not only to encourage your, your children but also the school. First and foremost, I would like to ask a question. What is education? Education for tomorrow. And it is forecasted that the 21st century, the time to come, let us say in short, 2030 will not have the job market as of today. Only 30% jobs that we see will be existing that day. New job, new form may emerge. If so, how do we prepare our children towards that? What, are, what type of education that we need to give in our school is a big million dollar question. Because we need to prepare our children for tomorrow. Not only for today, for tomorrow too. How do we prepare? As I wonder, what is this education for? If not for living today and for tomorrow a happy life. And you know very well, in Sandam school, the old student, Mr. Sugi Selvam, he is a very good speaker. And he has gone around the world speak, speaking in different subjects. He had one chance of speaking at the state level and won the medal. Then onwards, every function in the school be or in the colleges or in the university, he became a good speaker. The same way, Prabhudeva, a old student of Santo, he acted once and danced once in the school, he got encouragement. And my student, Kartiyayan, Siva Kartiyayan, I forced him onto stage just for one second, just taking a glass of water. Now today he is a big hero. How do they emerge in the school? Right time, right chance, right opportunity, they grabbed it and they excelled in life. And I am so happy to note the principal saying around 80 percent of the students, 900 students are participating and they are on stage. A marvelous chance the school gives to every child to come on to stage and improve their services. I will just give you one question you, for you to reflect. That is, as I was a principal in Ariyulur, Monfort School, parent came for enrolling a child. The child, I have written the name, I asked the father's name. The father's name is Ariyar Armugam. Even now he is there. Ariyar Armugam. I asked him, Sir, Armugam, Armugam is your name. What about that nickname nearby Ariyar Armugam? Oh, then his friends and he together laughed and told me, Brother, there is a big story. And with that story, they gave me a comment too. That story is that he and another friend of him studying economics in Ariyulur Science and Arts College and that particular gentleman, the friend of that parent, passed in economics gold medalist in Bharat Dasan University after which he was searching for a job, he did not get a job. He struggled for BA economics, gold medalist, didn't get a job. Finally, he committed suicide. But this particular gentleman, Ariya Armugam, six years he studied, kept on writing exam after exams. At the end of six years, he passed. And today, he is working as a OA in Parambulur collector office. I wondered, the gold medal made him to die. The Ariya six years struggling made him to live. So what is this education is all about? It's not something connected with discipline. It's not something connected with way of living, way of observing the value system. So I'm so happy parents, you endorse with me. Just memorizing and getting marks is all the older days. Today, 
you need to discover what you know within yourself so the quote goes like this what is the best knowledge is it physics or mathematics or geography no the best knowledge is knowing oneself the longest journey is it to the moon or to the deep ocean no the longest journey is on to oneself so traveling oneself discovering myself all the potentials i have and how do i live that potentials is the school only an instrument to help you out the teachers are only instrument to discover such potentials within you so my dear and friends how are you all are you fine i can't hear you yeah i am happy to know that you are all fine and happy and monfort will provide you lot of opportunity to live a happy life wish you all the best congratulations to all the winners and also to the losers don't worry losing is a step that you can always look for winning is not the end it is a process keep on going come on keep moving god bless you all thank you thank you brother for appreciating our parents and expressing the value of modern education to grasp opportunities and to move forward in our future we now request our guest of honor reverend brother george padikara provincial superior province of bengaluru to share his message with us most children brothers john galler ikel our superior gender our brother idudev the national chairman of monfort brothers and the provincial superior of trichy our brother stephen stevier the principal our brother sebastian and sami vice principal our brother deepan the principal of it other brothers of the community brothers from neighboring montfort institutions parent fathers their sisters parents friends teachers and students of montfort medical education higher secondary school greetings of love joy and peace to all of you we heard the the message of our superior general and we just heard the message from brother dev and uh, i shall not repeat anything that they have shared and i really do not know what's new i can say all the same let me also try to give something positive to begin with i'm extremely delighted and happy to be part of this festive occasion these days we have many tv shows like america has talent india has talent i think we have been having a great talent show montfort has talent and we have been witnessing that talents in so many different areas music dancing dramatics say whatever you want and it's all there and i join our superior general also our national chairman brother dev in congratulating all the students for their excellent performance and also the principal and staff who have trained them to perform so many events so beautifully I want to also congratulate and thank Mrs. Brito, who has 
served so many years in this institution molding the young minds teaching them values along with the knowledge and retiring at the end of the year thank you ma'am for your valuable services we remember all that you have done gratefully to order to order a book is something really great not all are able to do that and at such a young age of class 10 to order a book is really incredible so i like to once again congratulate david becker for his momentous performance of ordering a book he has been awarded already but all the same i like to express my congratulations in the same breath i also want to congratulate the principal and teachers who have molded him from young age onwards to perform such a great uh, feat so congratulations speaker we live in a very fast changing world today and if one has to remain relevant we need to innovate adapt and adopt 50 years ago not some of you who are living here or who are present here would remember kodak was a famous brand in photography but today today's today's generation if you say kodak i don't even i know i don't see any recognition from anybody it has it has gone out it has become obsolete it is it is no more relevant like so only just one example and there are various examples like that if we do not change if we do not innovate adapt and adopt we will not be relevant and brother irdhya was sharing with us that today we have to prepare our children for tomorrow the job market which is available today will not be available tomorrow so the schools the teachers and the rest of us we have a tremendous job and i know monfort is doing great in that area because that's what we have seen today i loving to bring out the best in each each child so congratulations principal ramal stephen and also the rest of the team all teaching and non teaching staff thank you for the great performance of your children may god bless us all may monfort continue to shine and grow and excel excel in many in the coming years from success to success thank you god bless us all Thank you, brother, for your words. We Montfortians are talented, and we will excel always. Rani Virunathiyar was the princess of Ramnathapura. She was the first queen to fight against the British colonial power in India. Tune into an oration of Virunathiyar, remembering the glory and sacrifice made by Queen Her Sena Dipadi after defeating East India Company at Shivagangai Fort. Let's watch and enjoy an oration by Samantha of Standard Eleven. வெற்றிக்குளைத்தளபதி <laughs> தளபதியே 
Thank you, Samantha, for your powerful performance as Rani Veruna Chiyar. Life is like a rainbow. We need both rain and sunshine to make its colors appear. Every color brings out, every color brings out values of happiness, trust and integrity, reflecting the light of wisdom, providing energy to do creative things and to grow in the path of success. Our students of standard 6 to 9 are coming to enthrall us with their dance performance portraying the colors of life. Life is as colorful as a rainbow. Violet indicates wisdom.
trust.
Thank you, friends, for, for thank you, friends, for expressing the values of colors through your packful performance. Subhash Chandra Bose, born in a wealthy, privileged Bengali family, taught nationalism to be higher called and joined the Indian National Freedom Movement. Subhash's negotiable attitude towards the non-violence made him the leader of the Indian National Army with a strong principle, you give me your blood, I will give you the freedom. Listen to the Hindi oration by Moni Swaran of Standard 7. themselves for this one moment to cherish in their lifetime and with one final sweet goodbye the Tamil song highlights the theme cherishing the memories which is composed by Joel Sam Alexander of standard 12a
Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick.
Check. Check. Your parents, maybe unite our hearts, invoking God's abundant blessings upon all our 12th standard students appearing for their board examination. Almighty God, we place all our students into your holy hands. You are the source of inspiration. Bestow them with wisdom and knowledge to excel in their examinations. May your Holy Spirit guide and be with them. Cast away their fears, stress and anxiety and fill their hearts with confidence. Grant them health and peace of mind during the exams. Lord, bestow your grace upon our students that they may remember all they have prepared to do their best to score high marks and be successful. We make this prayer in your holy name. Amen. My dear students, we wish you all the very best for your exams and in your future endeavors. May you all be successful as you all step into your new journey of life. Thank you and all the best. And uh, children, it was uh, really fantastic and uh, awesome function today and a great celebration. So in token of all appreciation, I wish to declare holiday tomorrow and have a good rest. And uh, we shall resume our classes from Wednesday. Thank you, God bless. friends for expressing your touching moments. The Crescendos Music Band of Montford School is all set to perform the various genres of music. The first piece of music for you is the perfect, the famous pop song by Etrina, Joanna of Standard 90, but do a solo of this song in violin. The Turkish Rondos or the Turkish March is one of Mozart's best known piano pieces. It will be performed by Patricia Hedia of Class 11C with a Guinness World Record break speed of playing 200 beats per minute. A cappella music is a solo or a group performance without an instrumental. The crescendo is also to perform a cappella followed by a solo song of King Sagar of Standard 11C. Bones is by an American pop rock band Imagine Dragons. It will be performed by the crescendos. King Sagar of Standard 11C will do a solo performance. A rhythmic battle on electronical drum and manual drums by Joel Austin of 11D and Matthij of Joshua of 9B. They both are on fire to exhibit their performance. Enjoy their beats. Rapping is a musical form of vocal rhythm describing the street vernacular. Listen to the motivational Tamil rap by Crescendo. King Sagar of Standard 11C will rap for you. Patriotism is the feeling of love, devotion and sense of attachment towards one's country. 
the crescendos will now perform a Hindi song, Rang De Basanti, to express their love towards their nation. Tamil, our mother tongue, is the pride of Tamil Nadu. An anthem in Tamil by highlighting the values and strength of our language. Roshan and Ritika will do a solo song. Rachel and Deepthi will rap for you. The instrumental players are Keyboard, Darren of 8A, Joshua of 9B, Violin, Joanna of 9D, Medora of 9D, Bass Guitar, Fedricia Hedia of 11C, Rhythm Pad, Joel Austin of 11D, Drums, Mate Joshua of 9B, Vocalist, King Saga, 11C, Salson, 11D, Keren, 11C, Roshan, 9A, Deepthi, 9A, Rolling 6D, Ritika 6C. Let's tune in to the beats.
Thank you, friends. We enjoyed the musical evening. We Montfortians would wish to express our gratitude to all who have materialized to make this day happen. I call upon David, Merlin, Tanvir, and Jensia to propose the vote of thanks. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I thank God Almighty for showering his bountiful blessings on our school and us. On behalf of the school management, principal, vice principal, staff and students, I'd like to thank each and every one who has contributed to the overwhelming success of today's program. I first extend my heart for gratitude to our chief guest, Most Reverend Brother John Kalarakal, Superior General, for presiding over the function and for enlightening us with his message. We place our sincere thanks to our guest of honor, Reverend Brother Irudayam, Provincial Superior, Province of Trichy, Reverend Brother George Padikara, Provincial Superior, Province of Bengaluru, for being with us today. My grateful, 
My grateful thanks to all the distinguished guests, heads of institutions, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Brothers and Reverend Sisters for their presence. I also extend my sincere thanks to all the parents in whose honor we celebrate this day. We shall remember their contribution in allowing and encouraging us to participate in this program and making it a success. I owe my heartfelt thanks to Reverend Brother Stephen Xavier, our principal and correspondent, Reverend Brother Sebastian, our vice principal, Reverend Brother Deepin, principal of ITI, teaching and non-teaching staff who have planned this program with meticulous care and made selfless effort in training us sufficiently to make it a unique one. My thanks also go to the supporting staff who have contributed their part for the success of the program. Before I conclude, I thank you my dear friends for all the efforts in preparing and presenting a magnificent show and also for being such a wonderful audience all through the program. We, we once, once again, again thank, thank everyone for their cooperation in making our 21st annual day a success. success. Long, Long live Montfort. Please stand for the school song followed by National Anthem. School attention.
An exciting and memorable evening has gone by and we have come to an end of this year's annual day celebration. We hope that the memories of this day will linger on as we bid adieu. Be assured of another good one next year. Until, Until then, then, it's, it's goodbye, goodbye from, from all of us at Montford and, and God, God bless. bless.